I'm Janet Wiley Lambert. I graduated in 1986. My name is Rachel Lambert, and I'm a part of the class of 2020. You are a mother-daughter duo, and you are both SU, either current student or alum. How has that kind of shaped your SU experience? So, um, Rachel and I are both uh, part of the Greek system. Um, I was an Alpha Delta Pi, and Rachel's a, a ZTA. Um, so, you know, we re really enjoyed the um, added benefit of being part of a large group like that. And um, it's it's funny. There's some some things that are the same, some things that are different. Um, I mean, definitely. Sororities are much larger. I mean, when I was here, it was only about 30 girls or so. Um, but like some of the things that they do are, are similar. They still have Greek week and all that kind of stuff. Um, I mean, I think that when she was here, like she said, it was a lot smaller. And now there's more chapters on campus. I know, um, like my chapter, Zeta, we joined, um, like we became part of the community in 1986, which is when she graduated. So. Um, there's definitely more um, organizations and I don't know, I feel like there's lots of differences. But When I first started here, I didn't think that I was really going to join, but then my friends wanted to. Um, so I kind of went through like Passport and everything and I saw how like awesome they were and how, you know, like the different stereotypes that I had of them were not really true and um, yeah, I don't know. I mean, I was, I knew about it because she was in it, um, but I think I kind of made the decision for myself. Yeah, and Rachel's so. actually um, an officer uh, for her sorority. Yeah, I'm a historian. Um, and I basically just run all the social media accounts and I um, do like little photo shoots and we put together a little scrapbook at the end of the semester. Hopefully, I'll do that. Um, and yeah, so that's been a really she good keeps experience. the history going. Yeah. So. And then, like when you come back for homecoming, like at, at her at her house, they have the books out, and then like people will go and look through them from their year or whatever. So I think that's a really great tradition. Uh, Eighty Pi, I don't think I've ever experienced that there. So anyway, um, how did you feel when Rachel decided to come to SCU? <laughs> Do you really want to know? It was like, put put it this way: it was my Christmas gift. It was. Um, around Christmas time, which is also around her birthday, but um, she was like, you know, I was not putting any pressure on her to come here. I wanted it to be her own decision, you know, and um, on Christmas, she, I actually have a picture of it, so she gave me a little box that was wrapped, and inside of it, it said, Mom, I made my decision. I'm going to SU, and I was just like, really? You don't, you don't have to do it for me. Are you sure? And she's like, yes. And then my parents also went here, so we wrapped it back up again, and we gave it to my mom um, at Christmas yeah. breakfast, because we always have like a big breakfast on Christmas, and we gave it to my mom, and we also have that on video. She's getting teared up, yeah. we both are. <laughs> it was like so special, you know, and um, it might be a smaller school, and you know, some people might think that, um, you know, that might deter people from coming here, but you just have to realize that you know, it, you become part of the of a family, and like it's, you know, it's just such a special place, and um, you know, there's everyone here is th here to support you, and you know, your professors and your friends, and you know, all the resources and that kind of stuff. So.